everybody, it's Emily on Temptress and today I'm going to be rebuilding this winch. I actually have no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, Clark went off to help somebody else with a problem on their boat and he's left me to do this. He says it's super easy and I should be able to figure it out. So this might turn into a video about how to rebuild a winch or it might be a video about what not to do. This is a two-speed winch and it's really, really gotten bound up. We can still use it, but it's not effective to use, especially in the uh, coarser adjustment. So it's time to clean it. Um, I've got a bowl of gasoline here to clean the parts. I've got some WD-40 that I can use to clean. I've got this tiny screwdriver, which apparently is all I need to take it apart. I've got some grease and I've got some other lube here, which may come in handy. And I've also got my coffee and my tunes uh, to keep me going. So here we go. So right here, there's kind of a little tooth to pull this out. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh, well that was super easy. Oh, it's like a little spring. Okay, so there's our sort of clip that's gonna go into the gasoline. So we can clean that. And then it looks like this plate right here will come off. Boy, that is fit like exactly on there. It's kind of can I get this off? It's really gungy around here. Let's see if I can just... Get some WD-40 action. I think what I'm going to do is get a little wire brush and just clean this up and maybe it'll come off easier. Alright, I can't find a wire brush, uh, but I've got a toothbrush, so we'll see if that helps a little bit. Oh, Alright, it's pretty gungy in here. Even if I just, oh yeah, look at that, yummy. There's just lots and lots of grease in there. All right, so we're gonna clean this out. I gotta get the drum off. It looks like these are the two prawls. I know that word. That's what spins when, uh, that's what goes click, click, click when we use the winch. So those are the prawls. We got two prawls and then this, ooh, look at that. Comes right off. That was super easy. Okay, so that will need to be cleaned. It's very heavy. And then we've got all this. Wow, this is a dirty job. It's definitely got lots of nasty. All right. Oh, and that comes off too. Okay, so there's that part. Hey, don't know what that's called, but I'll ask Clark and I'll put the word for it right here in the video. And that's definitely going in the gasoline, too. Okay, any other pieces that need to come off? Nope. I think that's it, unless this comes off. I think that just rotates. Okay, so we have the drum with the prowls on it. We've got that thingy. We've got the little cover, and we've got the circlip. That's all the parts here. So, so I guess I'm just gonna clean it and lubricate it and put it back together. That, that is pretty easy. All right, let me just... Oh, okay. And there's some... Oh, I, oh, I see. This is really dry in here. Yeah, that's gonna need to be lubed too. Now I can see the gears that are exposed and I can see how bound up they are. Oh, that's cool. You can see that's the two speed. That's the one speed. Very cool. Beads. Hope you can see that. It's a little dark. 
but those look pretty dry compared to how well lubed everything else is. So those are definitely going to get some lube today. It looks like I could take this off as well, but I, I'm not sure that's what Clark wants me to do. I think he just wants me to clean and lubricate it. I think this would be called some sort of bearing. I know what a ball bearing is. Obviously these aren't balls, they're like cylinders, but I'm thinking that this is the bearing he told me to look for. And that's pretty nice and clean. All right, so we have a bearing. I just realized how close I am to my varnish. That's not good. I want gasoline on my varnish. Parts. Whoa! Don't spill the gas. Okay. Oh, hey! All right, that explains. So there's two bearings. I remember him saying there'd be two bearings. So here's a before and an after shot for you. This one's pretty gross. This one's nice and clean. This is not a hard job at all. It's messy, but it's not hard. And it's not even that messy because I mean, all the parts fit in this little bowl. It's actually kind of a fun part to play with. This toothbrush seems to be fine. I think using a wire brush might have actually caused some damage. The uh, gas as a solvent is really effective. So this gear right here corresponds to the gears up here that we looked at earlier. There's a purple piece of plastic in here. That's weird. A little gasket or something. Oh, I see. The plastic's from the toothbrush. There's little uh, gum massagers on there, and the gasoline's breaking them up. I was wondering where that would be in there. Okay, these prawls, a little tiny spring, kind of like uh, what's in a clothespin, I guess. I'm gonna take them out. Ooh, I hope I can get those back in. Okay, there's tiny pieces here. So I pulled the prawl out. I got two pieces. Got this piece, an itty bitty little spring piece that kind of looks like sort of uh, what's in a clothespin. So I don't want to lose that, but this will be easy to clean if I take them apart. I hope I can just figure out how to put them back in. So I'm just gonna kind of pinch that little wiry part and ooch lift it out like so there we go and don't lose the tiny spring there we go two parts all right now we just have to clean this a lot pretty clean Yep, pretty clean. All right, do not lose these. Actually, I could put those right back in right now. I think I will. All right, so I've got all the parts taken out. All of them are pretty clean. I've got the, I think it's called the drum and the prawls cleaned and reassembled and lubed up. The inside's all clean too. Now I'm going to address 
this part, which I guess will just be more cleaning. Uh, I'll probably have to turn it a lot to clean all of the gears here. They're really gummy. Yeah, it's like almost like chewing gum, some of the grease that's in here. And that can't be good. From what I remember, Clark says that we have to do this every few years, maybe three or five years. This one has to be done more often because it doesn't come off the mast anymore. Hooray for old boats. Uh, there's more in here, I think, that needs to be cleaned, but I can't get at it. So we're just gonna do the best we can. I imagine this is a job that's handy to know how to do. It could easily be a pink job too. It's not hard at all. I've never done this before, but this seems pretty intuitive to me. I'd even say a kid could do this, or a crew member, if you trust them not to lose the pieces. That's the hardest part, I think. Yeah, I think it's definitely getting easier. I'm cleaning the teeth, but I'm also cleaning the area that between the two, where they rub together. Oh yeah, that's really moving a lot easier. It is disintegrating my toothbrush though, very nicely. Hoisting the dinghy is going to be so much easier now. All right, now I suppose is the time to grease everything. Okay, yummy. Just kind of mushing it up against the gear and then turning the gear to let the gear cover itself. I don't think there's such a thing as too much grease here. And we got two of these bearings, so grease those up too. Okay, these little prawls seem like too small of pieces to use grease, so I'm going to use this clipper oil, or same thing we use for our sewing machine. Just move them that way. I think that's all the pieces. I just have to put the plate on and the circular ring thing, which I've already forgotten the name of. Aha, okay. I just learned something. As I was about to put this in, I just realized something very important. I don't know if you can see it. The two little parts of the spring are in front of or behind, whichever one it is, the prawl over here. This one, they were on either side, so it's not springy. So when I put this together, I have to make sure that there's this little ridge here. I'll point to it with a graphic, I guess. The, both parts, the kind of tines of that spring have to be in front of that in order to get it to be spring loaded like that. Like that. So they're both forward so that when it comes back like this, it's spring loaded. Like that. Glad I figured that out now. I was I'd have to take the whole winch apart. So these should both be spring loaded before it goes in and then I have to really Make sure I hold these in when I put it in so they don't pop out. There we 
There you go. Perfect. So I've got this in here. The prawls line up and they're both still spring loaded. That looks good. That looks really good. Test it really gently with that. Yeah, you can see. So they're upside down. Okay. So these are both spring loaded in the right direction. I have to make sure that they, if they were the other way, the winch wouldn't move. So get that right and we'll test it. It fits in there. It's so lining up. And just test it really gently. Okay, they're popping and the winch is moving. The other way. Okay, it's moving. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I did it right. Okay. All right, so we put the cover on. And that is just as hard to get on as it was to get off. It's actually a little bent, I think. She may need a little bit of encouragement. Okay. Put that on. And I guess this is the last piece. This is kind of cool that this is the only thing holding that on. And it's just kind of this spring tension. All right. Oh, wow. Woo. It's super easy now. You can do this with one finger. I had no idea that that's how that wind should work. <laughs> awesome. Well, I did it. I hope I did it right. It seems to be working. It seems to be running smoothly. And uh, we'll see what Clark thinks when he gets back. Well, looks good. Oh, wow. That's good. Oh yeah, this is going to be so much easier. Look how heavy that dinghy was getting. Uh huh. And it all feels right. I feel both of the prowls clicking in. You got everything in in the right direction. That's hard to do sometimes. Sometimes you get the prowls backwards and it just locks off. Good job. Good job. <laughs>